Wow, this is Terrence Nancy Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back, a.k.a. The People Champ, Terrence Civilian Williams, Jay Electronic, pull up. Check this out. I know Jay, uh, Jay-Z showed you love. Uh, you signed to him. And, um, you know, you're out the Magnolia, and you feel some kind of way. I don't know, because Birdman them didn't sign you, Pete didn't sign you, whatever. It took somebody in New York to sign you. You got a right to speak up for Jay, but don't be a hypocrite. Don't say on one hand, you're going to go to war, Ford, Birdman, Wayne, blah, 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 against the common enemy, the white folk. But then yet you come and diss them saying how they did uh, Turk and he out the Magnolia and they not from the Magnolia and yada, 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 right? So it's like a little confusing thing that you're doing. But the thing is this. Because I like what you said. Um, I'm looking at the thing right here, um, where, they, uh, where, you, where, you, where you spoke on that people, sh that Birdman in general, shouldn't have that energy towards Jay Z. Because it's not Jay Z, it's you name you know a few uh, big dogs that's over Jay Z, a few white men that's over Jay Z, so to speak. But this is what I have to, to uh, say to you, Jay Electronica. The problem is this, and this is for everybody else who uh, defend Jay Z, who has something who don't like what Birdman said. Jay Electronica, you mentioned these names who people should have that energy towards. But yet, Jay-Z is the one that allowed those same white men that you named, put him as the poster child, put him up front for us blacks to be like, oh, it's one of us in the, in the room with them. So that's why we don't have that energy towards Jay-Z, because he allowed the same common enemy to put him in the front, on the front, to say, look, I'm here for y'all. Now the black, we got hip-hop up in the Super Bowl. Now we about to change it up. That's why we got that energy for Jay-Z. Well, I didn't have the energy for Jay-Z, but now I see the people coming for Big Bro, and I'm a cash money channel, cash money represent, representative, and I'm going to speak up for that no matter what. I'm going to rock with Birdman to the wheel fall off. And, um, you know, because you're a person that 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 pushed the positive uh, message. You know, you own the positivity. So, but at the end of the day, it's like a little contradiction there when you had a little energy about the situation with Turk and Birdman and them. And the fact is, they wasn't getting along. So at the end of the day, if I'm not getting along with somebody, then okay, then I'm going to hurt you this way. You say what you say, you this, we go back and forth. So, you know, but I know the whole history of the story behind that, you know. But back to the situation at hand with the people, uh, with Birdman saying what he said about Jay-Z and what you said. We all have a right to voice our opinion. That's number one. Number two, I spoke on this already. For those who watch my channel, who've been following me, know, um, and just last night as well, I said, hey, y'all Google Super Bowl, who picked the people to perform on the Super Bowl? And I said, the city have something to do with that. I said, make sure that's true. That someone sent it to me. So I've been covering that already. About, um, it wasn't just Jay-Z fault. However, us as blacks, we always look for somebody to blame. And the thing is, the white people who really over everything, they not hearing us because they not tuned into us. But they got their puppets. They got their little followers. Go, go, go. Go ahead and go ahead to your people and uh, make them happy. Go ahead, boy. Go make them happy. And that happened to be Jay-Z. So that's why people got the, what Birdman felt, how he felt, and a few other people direct their attention to Jay-Z because he jumped out there in the face of the blacks. He's just like he the representative for the blacks for the Super Bowl. That's why people had that energy. That's why Bird said what he said. Uh, Jay Electronica, make sure y'all tag him and send that to him. Um, and, at the, and, and at the end of the day, for is this other guy, he spoke on, oh, New Orleans, don't mess with Wayne. He wasn't buying his music, whatever the case may be. Let me answer that with this. There are plenty of famous people from the city of New Orleans. 
Louis Armstrong. You hardly hear people talk about that, but if something happened, people have an outrage because he's from the city. So no matter what people wasn't doing, it's none of your business if nobody wasn't buying us in this. But one thing they know, they come together now. They feel like, hold up, this in that man's city, so Wayne should uh, perform. That's just what it is. It goes back to how, how, how we did in the joint. Nobody going to put their hand on one of ours. If one of ours done something, we're going to chastise them. But at the end of the day, if something wrong or something not right, we're going to speak out on it. So no matter if nobody ain't buying his music or nobody wasn't doing this, this, and this, he's still from New Orleans, born and raised. He lets you know that Charity Hospital. <laughs> he lets you know that Charity Hospital, when I was coming up, one of the best hospitals in the city of New Orleans to treat you for the gun wound. When you get banged up, you're going to Charity. Highly Grove 17, that's what he rep. So he sold New Orleans. So the people from New Orleans still have a right to say, ho. Yeah, we haven't bought music, we haven't done any of this, but when it come to that, why he not up there? Why we don't see somebody that's from our city rocking with that? So that that was a goofy argument. That was somebody that was trying to be heard, I think. Because at the end of the day, we could talk about who we want of our own, but you can't. That's just how it go, man. That wasn't for Jay Electron, that was for some other people who I saw. Was talking about well, y'all wasn't doing it for when y'all man went. Yeah, we got a right to be the the, the New Orleans and the, the Superdome have hosted ten so far uh, Super Bowls, with Miami being with eleven. Overall, Florida State have the most. The state of Florida have hosted the most, and New Orleans as a city have hosted. 10 right now. So they in second place with Miami. Miami hosted 11. New Orleans did 10. So that lets you know that Super Bowl been coming through that city for a long time. And now they finally opened the door for hip-hop artists. And now a big hip-hop artist, a legend in the game who then jumped on pop song and jumped on all kind of stuff with the playing guitars and all this. He can't get a, a shot at it. Nah, man. I sit back and I be like, hold on. As long as nobody won't say nothing about it, it's cool. But when Bird, who people, this is how I noticed too. A lot of people got a lot of hatred for Birdman. But Birdman made a lot of people millionaires. Birdman has changed a lot of people's lives. But they're not grateful for that. So they look at the one thing. He did that. Oh, I hate him. That's where that jealousy come in. That's where that Willie Lynch, uh, Willie, uh, Lynch syndrome come in at. That's where that come from. <laughs> some of y'all, not everybody, but some of y'all acting out y'all divine nature. Let's talk about it, black man. But at the end of the day, Birdman going to say what he want to say. It is what it is. I approve that message. Oh! Big facts. But uh, I got another video, too, I just saw where Kendrick took a swipe at. Drake, oh, man. And that's another thing. Drake, where you at? Why we haven't heard from you on this Super Bowl stuff? Or if Drake has mentioned something or tweeted something, y'all please send it to me. Send it to my DM uh, uh, and my Instagram. I need to see what's going on because Drake, you still have a voice. Don't worry about the fight you had with Kendrick. He dropped you. He knocked you out, but you still you still alive. Now get on up. Dust off your little thing. Put them little bull reds back in your head. Them little all reared up things you have in your head. That little stuff. Put that back in and let's go. Why Drake haven't spoke up? What I told y'all, it's, it's something that was brewing. I told y'all. But anyway, y'all know my mind. Let's say no drug to stop the violence, put the guns down. Make sure y'all can test for HIV naked. Y'all need to know y'all status. We got the nine profit, they need us. The Instagram need us. Third war. The movie. Them boys at war. The reality show surviving without a bird, man. That's it. I'm out. One.